this video we will be using the Maximus Kamikaze template to unlock a windburn uh, lock board using the Maximus Lizard. Um, first thing first, we're going to go ahead and read the drive before we do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and select the slim drive and I'm going to go ahead and enter MTK. Do a power reset. Alright, as you can see, the drive is locked. I'm going to go ahead and uh, read this slim key. And I'm going to go ahead and store it into the lizard. And just use all ones for this one. Alright, power cycle. Okay, it finished reading the key. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> use the unlock and lock feature. And do a power reset. And you can tell you the drive is locked. I'm going to go ahead and continue. And we're going to go ahead and unlock it. And we're going to use the drill method. Yes. Alright, so same drill now. Now before we continue, there's a little rubber right there, we're going to go ahead and remove it so it doesn't mess with the template. We'll grab the template and line it up with the holes. You can see it just lines up perfectly. There's a bit and a handle. It's in the kit. But I'm just going to use this for marking purposes only. So gently, you just want to scratch the surface. You don't want to put any pressure on it. Make sure I make the mark. <clears throat> As you can see, the holes line up there and down here. Just hold it down so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Now we go ahead and use our soldering iron. Alright, now with the soldering iron, you just line it up in the marking hole, it should just fall in there. And just gently... It's basically rotation motion, with no pressure pressed from the top, just let the weight of the solder do the job.
And just take your time, be patient. And there's no hurry. Because if you mess up, I'm gonna have to buy a replacement board. Once you hit the quarry depth, you will hear a beeping sound from the software, from the lizard software, or from the lizard itself if you have the speaker add on installed on it. Now the heat of the solder, it might uh, give it a false unlock, so I'll show you how to tell if it's a false or the right unlock when it happens. I'm just letting the weight of the solder do the job with the heat and go slowly. Just be very patient, take your time. Do it right once, basically. Okay, to continue and I'm gonna go ahead and do a power cycle and check by doing the MTK to make sure <clears throat> the drive is actually um, unlocked and as you can see it's unlocked 